Well guys, here we've got quite a nice LED projector for what it is. I bought this projector for 30 bucks shipped. That's 30 US dollars shipped and it came from Germany. So shipping only took two days. I bought it Sunday evening and it arrived Tuesday morning. So that's very good. Uh, these projectors usually go for about um, 50 bucks. That's also um, why I bought it. The projector itself came with um, an AV cable to feed in um, um, video and left and right channel audio. Also it came with a small quick start guide and a remote control. Besides it had a 2.5 amp 12 volt power supply but it had no TÜV or GS marking on it. Um, also it became very hot after I used it for about 50 minutes so I uh, decided to throw it away. I will upload a video later in which I'm going to show you uh, what the inside looks like because I don't really trust these things so I just used one of the trusty old um, 12 volt 4 amp power supplies I had laying around the projector itself is it looks quite okay I mean it's probably about 400 grams uh, in, in weight um, that thing consumes presumably 24 watts at 12 volts. I mean, it says 12 volt DC, but 50, 60 hertz, which is just, I don't know. Well, they got the projector quite right, but um, the markings and stuff, it doesn't seem to make sense. Um, you could also um, hook it up to like uh, a camera stand to a tripod and let it stand somewhere and project something. And I would actually guess that that will work without problems because that thing really doesn't weigh a lot. Still, it has got your 12 volt in, your headphone audio out, your HDMI in, also it got VGA in, and your component video. The most important thing and most interesting thing is that it got a USB port and an SD card reader. And uh, it actually can play back 1080p video at 60 megabits per second. I didn't test with something bigger because I don't think anyone will have video files with more bitrate than about 60 megabits per second. But that's just that's just incredible. I want to see what kind of IC they have in there that plays it back. I presume it's some kind of very cheap rock chip or something like a single core 400 megahertz with hardware accelerated Mali GP or something in order to play back this 1080p uh, MP4 video. I mean, it's just it's just crazy. Really, um, the brightness is quite okay for 24 watts. You don't really have to make it completely dark in your room to see something, but I would tell you to like at least put all the lights out. And I will also uh, change the light bulb in there if that works. It's an LED bulb. I presume it's like um a free free uh, chips in series LED bulb with 20 watts or 18 watts or something like six parallel um free series. In order to achieve 18 times 1 watt or something like that, I'll probably change it for a high efficient Cree LED. Well, now I hooked it up to my trusty 12 volt 4 amp power supply. And, um, yeah, I hope you can see the video, but there's like one thing that kind of annoys me. If you got that thing turned off and you turn it on, it shows you uh, an image of the brand name, which is You Happy. And um, then it just turns off and I thought because I changed the power supply and I thought the power supply wasn't like strong enough. Sometimes the Chinese uh, 12 volt power supplies, they don't have um, over current protection and they would probably just m make possible to draw like 5 amps from it. Okay, the voltage drop is a little bit, but still you can draw more power. And I thought my 12 volt uh, 3 amp power supply, which I had initially, wasn't enough. Um, so I got that 4 amp power supply and I found out that it actually doesn't have anything to do with power consumption that thing just boots uh, it booted up it had a blank screen I mean there was uh, light coming out of the lens but very dim light because it was all black the image and um, it just booted up into its um, media menu and over here yeah you got your small remote control with mm, yeah all the buttons you need and it plays all kinds of media files that thing is a 60 megabit video I got here and it got even a preview and stuff which is just incredible if I play back the video 
you can actually fast forward at quite an immense performance and there's no reason for like producers and uh, companies like Samsung and LG to not make their TV have a media play in there because if they can make an entire projector cost 29 bucks shipped how much does the media chip in there cost to play back 1080p video it's probably a buck or two so all of the TV companies all of the multimedia companies they should have a USB port at their on their device that enables you to play back 1080p video so as you can see it could be brighter the image the contrast ratio actually is pretty Okay, I have to say, but well, as a certain person always says, don't turn it on, take it apart. I will do that and tell you what we got in there and show you what we've got in there. And yeah, now I took that thing apart and it had a hidden screw under the Q. C pass label. I didn't find it at first, but um, yeah. Finally, I found it and was able to open that thing up easily without breaking anything. And we take it apart and I have to say, I'm blown away. The soldering job, the quality here is just amazing. I mean, I can't believe how they can make something for 29 bucks that looks like this and performs like a monster. It's Incredible, how is that even possible? The chip here, I'll let that thing focus. It's an MST6M182XST minus Z1. Probably an ARM something chip with a GPU or like a graphics accelerator in there. I wanted to buy that thing to get out the LCD in there. Wanted to have the screen to, like, use it in another project, but um, I'm gonna use it as is because it's just an, a nice thing. I mean, I even got test points on here. You can get a TV for 2,000 bucks, and it does not have that in there. I mean, how are they able to do that? It's just, I mean, it's done so nicely. Look at that. I mean, isn't that a beautiful PCB? It's it's incredible. I, I don't know what to say. We got some, some crappy speakers in there. I know. I probably should have, like, gotten... I mean, it's stereo speaker, so... Are they joking? That's not stereo. I can see three speakers. Do they actually have more than two speakers in there? Is it more than stereo? I mean, mono sound would be... Okay. Stereo is... Very good, but if they have more than two speakers, what the hell? Does that thing have multi-channel audio playback? Like, I don't know, 2.1 channel or 5 channel, 6 channel, I don't know. I mean, that's just amazing. And I'm so stupid, honestly. That was like one of the biggest fails ever. I'm so blind and stupid. Can you see the third speaker? It's right over here. And it's a freaking mirror. It's just two speakers. What the hell? Optical illusion says hello to me. Well, honestly, you can't really tell. <laughs> well, that was one of the biggest fail moments probably I've ever had. I mean, honestly. They got a diffuser place in here, mirrors, which are very, very nicely made. They're polished. I mean, actually, I was believing there was another speaker in there. So, yeah, it's very nicely made. The screen is right over here, 320 times 480. They got a small fan. They got a thermo fuse with 75 degrees, so probably the LED will turn off after that. The LED in here seems to be kind of weird. And I don't think I'm gonna upgrade it to a Cree LED because the lens in there is just... It's nicely made and I don't want to change that thing out for something that doesn't really do the job right because I didn't think about putting a lens in here. And uh, making the beam angle the right right one. Well, at least they got some LED protection, which turns on at 75 degrees. So apparently that thing can't get too hot. They got a small fan, which is not a Sunon probably, but well, it's it's some kind of generic 12 volt, 0.12 amp China fan. I mean, it's okay. 
I mean, it's not too loud. Could be worse. Could be a little bit better. I don't. I don't really care for that price, man. And also, most projectors are like incredibly loud. So, well, I can see nine little dots in there, which indicates that just a 10 watt LED and a 24 watt rating on the outside is just a little bit over the top. But still, I don't. I don't care, man. 10 watt LED might be enough. I mean, it's bright enough. I also want to make a video about a power bank that I make with 12 volt output. Um, I will use that to to drive this projector when I'm somewhere on the way. So I will probably just leave that thing closed as is and make a power bank for it so I can use it while I'm outside. It's just incredible, man. Really, I, I love it. It's a perfect build. The quality is astonishing. The price is even more crazy than the thing itself. And if you got 30 bucks spare for a gadget or something, buy this one. I mean, it's it's just amazing, really. I'm blown away. I'm not being paid by anyone. It's just that it's so ridiculous what you can do with 29 bucks nowadays. Over here we got some uh, kind of buck converter probably to drive the chip at is 3.3 volts or 5 volts. Um, we do also have um, stereo amplifiers. Some chips on here. I hope you can read uh, the markings. Yep, you can. Um, they are stereo amplifiers, but um, yeah. They're not doing their job too well, so you could also like additionally amplify the output, I think. What we do have here is uh, a marking for uh, date and revision. It's revision 1.233, which uh, indicates that I think is out for quite some time because they probably enter the board is about uh, a year old. But man, it seems to have worked since then because they're still out there uh, producing the same uh, boards. <laughs> Usually the markings on that thing are like a few um, days from uh, when you purchase that thing because they're just produced, not stockpiled, produced and uh, right after that they sell it to you. So see you next time guys.